Uh, we're back with some more Bendy and the Dark Revival. I had a bit of a struggle. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, something's caught in my throat. A little bit of a struggle last episode. So, that was something different. Sorry, just trying to readjust my camera real quick. There we go. I think that'll work. Uh, real quick. Banish. Okay, I wonder, does Banish work on Lost Ones too, or is it just Searchers? Oh no. Oh, there's another one right there. Do I have to freaking open up the door again? No, 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 no. Okay, I've seen cut. Okay, I've seen cutouts of Bendy and Alice before. This is my first time seeing a cutout of Boris. Oh my God, the good wolf boy. Yes. What? Studio. T I prefer not listening to the studio tour. Otherwise, it's gonna waste some time for me. What is this? Ooh, I think I might have sound, found something. Gent card, okay. Toolkit, and that. A memo. Thomas! We're in the final days here, I can tell. People are packing things into boxes. Tools are going missing. You can smell the panic in the air around the studio. But us gent boys, we're just watching from the shadows. We lock the doors and keep our research going. Mr. Gray already gave us a little wink. All is well. When one ship sinks, another one leaves the dock. I just need to keep my ink machine safe in the chaos. It's the key to so many discoveries. Thomas Connor. And if I remember correctly, the person who voiced the Thomas Connor uh, audio logs in Ink Machine, that was Mike Mood.
Wait a second. Bendy? Bendy? You're real? Oh, this is amazing. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I promise. It's okay. See? I'm your friend. <laughs> I God. Uh. Bendy just wanted to play with his little choo choo. No visitors, go away, don't knock. Okay, I'll just <gasps> break the door down. Double. Oh my freaking god, my freaking cord messing with the camera angle is pissing me off. Who's out there? Is that you, Phil? I told you I'm not opening the door until you bring me my pictures. I drew them. I want them back. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. In Binti and the Ink Machine Chapter 4, when you... Wait, was it chapter 4 or chapter 5? Yeah, it was chapter 4. Colossal Wonders. There's a... There's a lost one that walks on the balcony in one section of chapter 4. And it talks about, when are we going home? I just want to go home. That, sound, that sounded like the same lost one. That sounded like the same one. Alley for some pictures. Where pencil meets paper, the magic begins. Joy Drew. to learn how to use this. I think, wait, I've already done that one. Oh! Okay, I'm dead. Fisher. So, where would I find where would I find uh, the pictures? Here's where the magic is made. I'm Joey Drew, and our story begins quite literally in one of our many writers' rooms, just like this one. That's right. All your favorite Fix that. There we go. I think that'll right work better. Here. We circle up our chairs, 
crack open a cold drink and toss around dozens of story possibilities. There's no bad ideas here. We've all got Drink to the scripts. I myself have been known to spend a lot of time down here with the fellas, tossing in my own brand of jokes and spoon magic. It's my job to push the envelope with my big creative touches, <laughs> and I love it. Yes, sir. You'll always hear endless laughter coming from the right. When it's complete, the script finds its way to our many artists in the art department. You'll be seeing our real Joey Drew Studios team art at work on our tour. So I'm supposed to search Animation Alley for pictures, find the suffering camp, ham sandwich agony, the mental curse of taxes, the bus to work, extra cheese. Are they in here? I like to stand over their shoulders as the artists work their magic. It's my job to catch the little things that make our cartoons really extra special. If I see one of Benny's love. People may say that seeing is believing, but I think the fine folks down in the audio department might disagree. Once a cartoon's animation is finished, it's ready for all the sound to be added, from music and voices to outrageous sound effects. They do it all. It's no wonder people say Joey Drew Studios has the most impressive talent in the world. Maybe on our tour, I'm gonna search, uh... I know for sure I ain't making that jump. What the fuck? The power belongs to him. What is this? His eyes see all, his claws tear and thrash, his whispers turn your mind into dark, unspeakable trash. Listen for the heartbeat drone, your doom is close at hand. The ink demon is both beast and lord, his power is too vast for us to understand. Death is fast, death is near, his reign will last beyond your fear. Jesus Christ. And I thought frickin' Bendy lore couldn't get any more cryptic than that. Uh, stand. Okay. Toolkit and battery. Okay. He can speak? He can speak?
I saw his shadow here earlier. The fact that he's actually got a voice is frightening. Oh. Bro, I need some food. What is this? Oh! It's a little duck. Where the heck am I going right now? Do I need to run? Okay. The Ink Demon. Yeah. His power is infinite, his evil is complete. Be alert for his approach and hide at first warning. If you stay out in the open, you'll be consumed. The Demon's Domain. I was about ready to ask if he's able to crawl through vents as well, but I just remembered uh, chapter two of Ink Machine at the very end when Sammy was trying to offer Henry up to be a sacrifice for Bendy. Oh boy. Uh, real quick, hold up, hold up. I can see if turning up the brightness will help. I think the fast heartbeat means that he's near.
Sergeant Bagchan. This has been the best week of my life. For once, we don't have Mr. Drew hanging over our shoulders. He ain't even stop by at all. I'm turning out so many frames of animation, I can't even keep up with myself. Now, the only thing bothering me is that break two desks over. Ace and I are real weirdo. He keeps trying to show me some pictures he's been drawing. I tell you. This place has a curse. It's not one thing stopping you from getting things done. It's another. Yep. I need some health, bro. Oh, this is stressful. I say this is more stressful than chapter three of Ink Machine. Oh boy. Yeah, there was a there was one warning. Ah, might have lost it. Oh, I'm not able to fully stand up. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I know where I'm at right now. Okay. Jesus Christ.
Na. Just as a precaution. Precaution. Oi. Okay. Where am I? Oh my god, I did a full circle. find them here. I don't know where the heck I would find the pictures here. Uh, are they in, wait, are they in the boxes? Hold on, let me check. What happens if I try to make the jump? Oh, yeah, that answers it. Pictures located. So animation alley is just this specific area or is it more?
Oh, this is all of animation. Oh, god damn it. All right. Back in I go, I guess. Well, I'm retarded. Uh, what is it? Summer camp, suffering camp, sandwich agony, the mental curse of taxes, the bus to work, extra cheese. What about this picture right here? Now with that, I have a headache and I need to piss. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Scared the shit out of me. I swear to god, this better not turn, in, turn out to be like a uh, slender to eight pages where anytime I come out of hiding after I com collect one of the pages, then. Bendy's gonna be near me. Okay. Okay, I see one picture right there. Okay, so if I find a picture on the desk, first thing I need to do is look around the room to see if there's a spot for me to hide. Here's one of the pictures, real quick. Find a spot. Okay. I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. So far so good. We have three of the five we have three of the five pictures. So I'm still missing ham sandwich agony and the bus to work. Crouch.
Okay. Okay. Yeah, so anytime I find I come across one of the pictures, I need to look, get a quick scan of the room, figure out, uh, find a spot to hide. See? Like that. There's a picture and a barrel to hide. Okay. And. Just a precaution. 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 You never know when he's gonna show. I think of bacon soup over there. Oh, here's the last one. Go. Okay. All five of the pictures now. As soon as I put all five of them on the easels, then I'm gonna end the video there. Scared the shit out of me right there. Precaution, because <laughs> that freaking shaking surprised the hell out of me. Wasted can of bacon soup. That's a precaution. This is a precaution right here. <laughs> you cannot hide forever. I will find you. Don't freaking do this to me, Bendy. Bro, I love you and all, but holy fucking shit. Oh. Okay. There's that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Oh! 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 I returned your freaking paintings and all you do is attack me? What the hell, dude? 
I hope to God you have some food stored away in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go in there, and then... I'm gonna go and save the game. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, okay. So far, I think this is the... I think this is the third episode so far for Bendy and the Dark Revival. So far, so good. I am loving the game. And, like, all, like, supposedly horror games, it's supposed to cause people stress. This is definitely causing me some stress. <laughs> so it's a good thing I got some tea here to keep me calm. I think I'm gonna take a break from Bendy and the Dark Revival now, and I will record it and uh, another day in the future. So, that's and done. I'll see y'all in the next episode of Bendy and the Dark Revival. Peace.